Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Project Ascension. This is a custom server for World of Warcraft. We're going to be doing a little bit of a challenge today. So first off, we have Draft Mode, which basically gives you random abilities every time you level up. You'll get a couple different cards to pick from. We were able to start out with Rend, Sinister Strike, Earth Shock, and Power Ward Fortitude. We will use those real quick. Um, we got our Racial right here. We went Human just because I like their starting area, even though I'm actually usually a Horde guy. Uh, let's see, we need to grab our pets. Oh, we have to grab them out of the book first. Let's come to the vanity shop. We got some pets. Oh, I don't have them on here. That's fine. Um, so basically, the way this works is every couple levels you get to pick up different cards. We'll show you, demonstrate once we get there. And then we're going to be doing the Iron Man challenge. So for the Iron Man challenge, basically, you have one life. You can't group up with anybody. You can't do trading, mailing, auctions. No profession experience, no refer friend or anything like that. So we're going to have to get to max level without dying, which shouldn't be too bad. Let's get some of these uh, quests started. We're going to be going with something more like a like a rogue warrior type thing. Got all of our abilities ready to go. So in here basically is all the abilities in the game. If I wasn't playing this draft mode, uh, this wild card mode, I could pick any ability I want, which is pretty cool. So basically get these ability essences. And talents where you can basically pick what abilities you want what talents you want and you can make your own class which is pretty cool um next shortly they're coming out with the death knight stuff which will be awesome I'm really excited for that they have a couple other game modes that you can choose and play um so i think we're gonna go with probably agility thinking because i want to do like speed so kind of like a barbarian type route i guess we'll do that we'll grab these beginner quests that's just leveling up so we're going to rush through some of this beginning stuff so we get to a fun area all right we got a bunch of quests we're going to bank some of these out so while you're level one you can use this uh deck to change what starting cards you come out with what abilities you come out with and everything um i did it a couple times and they got something like this so i thought it was nice so now we level up to level two we won't be able to use this anymore so it's not really a uh oh uh, wait what is that Every other level, yeah. I'll throw it in the bank just in case I need it. So we're going to get some of these wolves out of here. And uh, whatever kind of abilities you choose, more abilities will be geared towards that. So if you choose a lot of casting abilities or like mage abilities, you'll get a lot more abilities that are more geared towards a mage. That's pretty cool. Which sucks sometimes if you get, uh, get stuck with a certain ability, but it's cool if you're going for something specific. Um, a lot of these mobs are also leveling with us and i think we're currently in on this server anyways i think it is in mainly vanilla or burning crusade and there's a couple different servers that have all different kinds of stuff on them there's a server that has its own classes and everything which is pretty fun to play on that a lot that's been updating a lot and then they're working on coming out with the lich king classless system as well so i'm pretty stoked for that get some of these uh kobolds down See, every time I level up, they basically uh, level with me. We also got a bunch of different UI add-ons. Um, some that are just downloadable when you start the launcher, and some I've put in myself. Um, the game's engine is around um, 3.3.5, I think, which is like a Wrath uh, patch. So, like I have, this is Arc Inventory. It's a little bit different than um, the one bag one that a lot of people use. Uh, I like it because you can show the currency and a few more options. Um, we have Bartender down here with, um, I should be on here, I can't really tell. It looks like it is. It's like Button Falcade or something, basically. You can change like the skin overlay on it so it has a little bit of a texture. I got x Pearl for my unit frames, and this bar right here shows my energy and my rage. Since you can pick every ability in the game, they give you mana, rage, energy. Unfortunately, they don't have any um, AOE looting yet, which is I'm um, excited for. As soon as they add that, that'll be nice. There is a little robot that you can purchase off the store that I have um, that will loot everything. But on this server, it's a little bit different. This is like a seasonal server, so I don't have all my usual stuff. We have to grab a couple more wolves. So other than that, the gameplay is mostly the same. There's some extra events and world events you can do, PvP, some cool PvP stuff. Um, and different kind of challenge stuff you can do, which is pretty neat. Keeps the game flowing. 
but I think the uh, addition of other classes and stuff is awesome. We'll throw all this gear on basically whatever we have for the time being. And there's also um, like world PvP that you can do if you're into that, and you can fight other people, and you can basically take their gear, which is pretty neat. Kind of like Tarkov in a way. It's definitely a lot of fun. It just sucks that not a, a lot of people really do it, or you just kind of just get shit on all the time. I actually have a character that is based off of the God of Thunder, Thor. So he has all kinds of shaman abilities. He has warrior abilities. A um, couple different like elemental ones. Mostly shaman, though. And he's actually pretty strong. I fine-tuned him over a few years, and he's actually pretty strong, and he's a lot of fun to play. All right, let's see. Grab the rest of these quests. We'll also have to think about getting a mount soon, because... I don't have any of my mounts from my other realm. I think this is the only realm that's like separate. But there's a bunch of cosmetic mounts you can buy, um, different pets, and quality of life items, which is like that little robot. Alright, we got to level 7. We'll kill some of these workers real quick. Then we need to get some bandanas. And I believe once we get to level 10, we can select some talents. I mean, that, I think that's when our new ability should start pouring in as well. Hit these guys up with, with a rend. Sinister Strike. Sinister Strike is one of the best uh, abilities in the game because it's such a good filler. Since everybody has energy and you don't necessarily have to be a rogue to use it, it makes it a really valuable ability. So like even like on a lot of warriors use it just to be like a filler and it builds rage. And if you're out of uh, mana or anything, you just spam that. If you're like a hunter type build. I also have, um, I think it's Mike's Scrum Battle Text, which is here on the side on the left and right. Basically displays uh, what's happening, what's incoming and all that kind of stuff. Right, we also have these books of ascension and basically you train all your abilities on here and they're all free which is great especially depending on how much abilities you level up and how many abilities you pick i also picked up enchanting and tailoring while we're uh leveling so we can just do that for fun we're not gonna get an xp from it but that's all right yeah uh, someone was attacking him and he was evading So even though that Sinister Strike's a uh, rogue ability, you can still use a two-hander with it. It does less damage, but then the uh, weapon you have usually makes up for that damage. That's it, agility, I'll take that. Let's head over here, we'll kill some of these bandana bitches. Make them all bleed. There we go. Moth them. Grab all their bandanas. Take their pants. <laughs> nice. Take their shoes. Oh, it's worth a copper. I'll save it. Why not? Nice thing is when you level up, and you level up pretty fast as well, I believe there is an XP um, increase. What's that? Agility? No, I'll keep that. Um, all of your health and all of your resources get refilled, which is great. So if you're ripping people about to die and you level up, and that'll just save you. Can't wait to get some more abilities going. At least some talents. What do we got? All right, let's get rid of these pants. Let's eat that. What else we got here? We'll put that on. We'll keep this guy low, so if we need to uh, quickly kill him and heal, or he might even die on his own with our, our bleed. There we go. It resets the cooldown on everything too, which is real nice. There we go. Easy enough. Alright, I wonder if we're gonna have to pick these up in our bag. Yeah, alright, we'll get rid of something. We don't need these bullets. Probably don't even need these arrows either, but we'll hold on to them just in case. See what kind of abilities we get when we level up. Alright, we got the last of the great looking things. We'll head back over here and turn all these in. And we have to go and uh, explore that cave and kill some of those kobolds. Kobolds. You know, take candle. Turn this in. You need something? Hello? 
Also, if you notice the uh, textures of everything looks a little bit different, that's because uh, we have like sort of updated textures. It's not quite classic textures, but it's not quite retail textures. Yeah, right. Brother Neils, what do you got for me, bud? Oh, crappy cloak. I'll take the, the belt. There we go. We made it to level 10. So, yep, we got three different cards. Basically, we'll flip each of these over, and then we'll pick one of the ones that we want. Um, greater heal. I think that one's a little bit better than he rest of the uh, healing touch. Or we have flame shock. I think that'll also go on cooldown with my earth shock. So probably going to pick one of these two. Um, these are both about the same. That's 31 to 43. They're about the same. Yeah, let's go with the greater heal. So we have a heal just in case. We'll put that right there. Not too bad. We should be able to get talents soon. Yep, we do have one talent essence. And we have some levels in our abilities. So we're going to sell this. Head over here. We'll turn this quest in and train our, our abilities. And then we'll figure out what talent we want to go with. We'll do that, though. And we will train our abilities. There we go. Let's see what kind of talents we want to do. The off we offhand weapon damage. Which does absolutely nothing for us right now. But once we get... um. Another weapon will be uh, a little bit better. Let's see, we have 36 silver now. What else? Uh, that's two-handed. Which are both one-handed. Um, it's going to be a huge downgrade in power. So I think we're just going to hold on to our two-hander for now. And we'll just prep. We'll get a power spike after we get enough points in there. We should get one next level. We're almost there. 98%. All right, we made it to the cave. We gotta kill these uh, antler-looking guys. I don't know how he dodged that. It's like he was waiting for me. All right, we'll finish this guy, and we should level after this guy. There we go. We get a talent point. Nice. Not gonna do too much at the moment, but once this gets up to 50%, that's gonna be a nice damage increase. Once I get to uh, my dual wield as well. It's nice to have this earth shot because it's also a ranged ability, so I can pull people or get them if they're running away. We do need some uh, energy resource regen increase. It's good we have a heal just in case. We're just going to pull these guys, rend them. There you go, the guy's helping me. Thanks, bud. Alright, we just finished the last guy. We'll head out of here and turn that in. Give ourselves a heal. See how much it does. 113, that's actually like a quarter of my health. I wish it was always that good. This guy's got a cool mount. He's got like one of these fell wargs, I guess. That war wolf, yeah. So even though um, he's only level 4, he can still ride. This girl's level 11. You can ride from level 1 as long as you have the... Uh, the training and a mount. Um, oh, we're going the wrong way. Alright, what do we got? That's 14. We'll take these because we don't have gloves yet. Oh, we leveled up. Let's see what we get. Ooh, a victory rush. We'll go with that. That sounds good. We'll put that right here. We will grab this quest. I don't think we have any more talent. Oh, we do. Alright, we'll first throw that right in there then. And we will head on to gold shot. Oh, we got Kill this guy as well. We'll head over there real quick. Alright, boys. He's here. We had a couple people we were fighting. Um, so I was like, I might as well fight these guys that aggroed onto me while uh, I'm waiting for this guy to spawn because someone just killed him. Luckily, the spawn regen was pretty quick. And if you hear that noise, it's uh, my low mana sound. There's also one for if I get low on health, which is nice to know. Especially if you're not. If it drops real quick. We also got to use our victory rush while we were fighting those guys. All right, we're going to head back to turn this in, and then we're going to head to Goldshire. Good day to you. All right, we made it to Goldshire. Turn in some of these quests. Alright, we got all the quests, turn them all in, 
We got a talent point. We're going to throw that in as well. Right, we did pick up a one-handed sword. This also, so also in this game, there is a thing called RE, which is basically a random enchant. And that puts random enchants on all kinds of gears, weapons. Um, I don't think I have any on these, but I did pick up the sword. That gives me feral aggression, increases the attack power reduction of your demoralizing roar by 6, and damage caused by a ferocious bite by 4. So basically, these are random little enchants that appear on your gear whenever you get them. I think it's green and up, and they can alter your playstyle, alter your abilities, give you good and bad bonuses, trade-offs, all kinds of cool stuff. Another way the uh, the game gives you a uh, way to play, which is pretty cool. Not only do you get to pick all your abilities and do whatever you want in terms of classless or the draft mode, you also have these uh, random enchants to further alter your character and make them special and more unique and powerful, which is pretty cool. Now we're going to head over here to the Fargo Deep Mine and do some of these quests. Alright, we made it right into the cave, the mine. Let's see what we got in here. I think everyone was just dead. Someone's just in here killing everybody. Alright, we got that quest complete. Um, is there anybody else in the area? nice thing about these quests as well is they uh, made it so everything scales to a certain level. So even though I'm 13, these quests are probably like under 10 for the majority of them. I'm still getting relevant XP, which is nice. Um, there's also world buffs that we get often that people put up with different scrolls. So there's ones for extra XP, um, swim speed and water breathing, all kinds of good stuff. That swim speed actually is one of my favorites because... When you're a low level, you don't have a mount yet, or before you can afford a mount, you can hop in the water and you can just zoom around faster than most of the time being on a mount, which is nice to have if you're near nearby the water. I don't know what this woman's doing over here, but... Just keep it away from me. There we go, we got him. I wonder if we could hit a victory rush off this guy. There we go, finisher. Nice. I don't usually get that close to dying, but uh I wanted to make sure that guy was gonna die. Head over here and we'll pop a heal. There right, we go. We got also a. Uh, ooh, apparently at some point we got a bag, which is definitely nice because we were running low on storage. We also just got a healing potion, so in case we ever get low again, we could use that. Well, let's see if I can grab this guy with a victor rush, nice right before it wore off. We should level up after this guy, and I think we can need three more candles. Almost there. Get some nice levels out of this. There we go, we leveled up. Let's see what abilities we get. Wrath, Drain Life, and Recuperate. Uh, let's go Recuperate. It's actually not a bad ability. We'll uh, put that on that. We can't use these yet. That's 16, that's 15, so next level. Um, what about Talents? Yep, we can do that. We'll head over here, grab our loot, kill these guys. I really need to find another weapon so I can do a wield. I'll just spam the rend. Maybe we'll get a warrior ability, that'd be pretty cool. Alright. That disappeared right as we were looting it. Oh man. Nothing else in here. Should be some guys down here. There we go, there's one. go. We'll do a quick heal. Um, actually, he didn't drop a candle. So we get more to kill. There we go. We got all the candles. We're going to head back to... Oh, actually, we need gold dust as well. So we're going to farm out that real quick, and then we'll be back when we get that. Alright, we got some new gear. Nice. Greater heal. Reduces the mana cost. Alright, so we're at 45 now. 42, nice. Nice. That's a pretty good 
uh, item. We'll hold on to this guy. Oh, wow. That's a pretty beefy um, piece as well. Alright, not too bad. Alright, this one better be it because we're about to level up. Let's probably get one more after this. Hey, we got it, boys. We leveled up and we get the last uh, sweet. So let's uh, head out of here. We'll head back to Goldshire. Get our talent and everything. Oh, it's actually 5 out of 5, alright. We'll uh, head back to Goldshire and figure out another talent, and we'll be back. All the boys want me now, boys. Pop that heal off. And mop him. Nice. Alright, boys, we turned in almost all the quests. We're going to turn this one, and we should be leveling up. Nice. Let's see what we get. Curse of Agony. Fire Blast and Righteous Defense. Hmm. Probably fire blast. Um, that's going to be 49 mana and 33. Actually, let's go with the curse. That'll probably be um, a little bit more effective. I'm going to grab the rest of these quests. How are you? you all right, boys. We went with thundering strikes. This improves your crit chance with all spells and abilities, so all spells and attacks by two, or one for each level. And then after you get to max, it'll give you thirty percent of your agility as spell crit, which is gonna be great for all the shaman abilities that we will be getting. And then I think we got all the other quests complete. I will probably Ooh, there's a lot of stuff in storm, and I'll probably just run around storm real quick, get all these, get my hearthstone set and everything. That's going to be wrapping it up for this video. We got pretty pretty far so far, level 16. No dying yet. Got kind of close, a couple close claws, but nothing it couldn't handle. So uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next episode.